Okay, I did my picture in ecology project over Nicholas Hughes. Okay, so some background information. Um, Nicholas Hughes was born on January 17th, 1962 in Devon, England. Um, and he died on March 16th, 2009 um, in his home in Alaska. Um, he died from suicide following the suicide of his mother. Um, and he just had one sister who was about a year older than himself. Um, he was also the son of Sylvia Plath, who's a famous poet and author. Um, many of the poems that Sylvia Plath wrote were often about him and had him at the center um, compared to like her husband or his sister. Um, Nicholas came to the United States post-grad. Uh, so up until he was about 22, he lived in England. Um, and then after that point, he came to America and was there then on here to stay. Um, he has dual citizenship in both America and Britain, um, and his parents divorced when he was barely one. Um, so some more background information from an ecologist standpoint. Um, he graduated Oxford University in 1984 with a degree in zoology, and Oxford is that picture in the bottom left. Um, he did his postgraduate work at University of Alaska Fairbanks um, in biology, and that's a picture in the bottom right. Um, after getting his doctorate at University of Alaska, he would, became a research associate at University of Alaska Fairbanks. Um, and then moving forward, he got his postdoctoral fellowship at Simon Fraser University in behavioral ecology. Um, and that is in British Columbia in Canada. And that's that picture in the middle. Um, and then after finishing his fellowship, he went back to the University of Alaska Fairbanks and became an assistant professor. Um, he resigned eventually from the University of Alaska and focused solely on his research for about the last three years of his life. Okay, so his research and specifically, uh, he was focused very heavily on salmon ecology. Um, his main research question uh, throughout all of his life is he wanted to know why fish choose the locations that they do uh, for both breeding as well as like their habitat. Um, the conclusion he came to was that like water flow and stream bed consistency um, play a big factor in guiding how like natural selection affects the behavior of salmon. Um, so he kind of changed salmon ecology and advanced the field significantly uh, because the conclusions he came to were not conclusions that had yet been thought of. Um, and so he kind of changed the whole realm of salmon as well as like uh, medium-sized fish ecology greatly. Um, so reasoning behind what I cho chose Nicholas Hughes, um, I thought the poetic relevance was really cool. Um, I feel like you don't usually hear a lot about a famous like author, poets, family members. Um, so I thought the fact that his mother was a famous poet and yet he so accomplished so much was something that was really cool and unheard of. Um, along with the fact that I also have a pretty big interest in aquatic ecology along with fish biology. Um, a lot of that's really similar to what I want to do, uh, which made him all the more interesting to want to research. Um, and I also thought his cross-culture history was really interesting. Um, so how he's a dual tradition in both America and in Europe, um, because I feel like a lot of the ecologists that I know of are strictly in America or strictly from their country. Um, so I thought it was really cool that he did a lot of research in multiple parts of the world. And these are my four sources. Thank you for watching.